Today's tutorial is all about apple clips. I'm going to just give you an overview of some of the basic tools that you can use with the apple clips app. Here's what the apple clips looks like. And when I, when I select, I've already got some projects, so um, your startup might look a little different. So we'll just start off by looking at these four corners. So in the first corner, it'll give you all of the projects that you've currently created anytime you select this button. When you select this button, it'll actually delete any projects that you've worked on. So if I want to delete this project, it'll ask me if I want to delete video, and I simply hit delete. If I want to create new, I simply create new. And since I'm wanting to open this project, I can select open. Or if I want to save the video, when I hit the square with the up arrow, it'll allow me to save the video, save it to my files, save the videos, or upload it to any program of my choice. So let's start off by creating a new video. So I'm going to create new, and I'm actually going to pull from my library. And so when I pull from my library, I could go as far back as I'd like. So I'm going to start off with this video right here. Okay? And so anytime I want to record video, I have to select this red button. Five, four, three, two, one. And so if I want to play back that video, I'll hit the play button. And it will allow me to play back and watch the video. <clears throat> Continuing to go in left to right, let's say I wanted to add live titles. This means every time I speak, it will actually pick up those words and add them to my video at the bottom. Sort of like closed captioning. So I'm going to add and I can select none if I don't want any. Or I can choose several different styles on how to add text. And so now, when I record, it'll look something like this. This is the Apple Clips tutorial. And when I'm finished, I can go back and play. And as you can see, it allows me to have the text run at the bottom of my video. Another option I have is to add text, filters, labels, and emojis. So if I wanted to add text, I could just choose what I want to add and then I can actually double tap to change my text. If I want to add stickers, and they have a ton of different stickers, I can choose the sticker I want to add. Let's add Woody. If I'd like to add an emoji, I simply select the emoji, and it'll allow me to Two fingers will allow me to make it as large or as small as I would like. And then I'll simply hit record. And it will allow me to record that section. And then I would just go back and watch all of it together. The next thing I want to show you is how to add posters. I'm going to go back, hit cancel, and show you how to do that again. So we went over, you can pull things from your camera. You can pull things from the library. And I'm going to pull another clip. Actually, I'm going to pull this picture so I can show you how this works with a picture as well. I can add a picture from the library or I can add video. 
The next thing I want to show you is posters. And so all of these posters are editable except for Star Wars, Mickey and Friends, and Pixar. The rest of the posters are editable. So let's say I want this Howdy. I select it. And then I could double tap to change the text. And then I will hit the record button. For as, however long I want. Usually five minutes is long enough. And if you noticed, I had some text that was uh, text to speak. So if I want to get rid of that, I'll go to Live Tiles. And I'll simply say none. And it will get rid of the text to speak. Now, if I want to mute my voice on this poster, I simply select the mute button and then hit play. If I'd like to trim, I can make this clip as long when I record it, but I can also trim it by hitting the trim button. When I'm all finished, I hit the square and the up arrow and select save my video. And that's it. I've made my first Apple Clips.